No, uh -uh, it's pretty nice. This is uh, Big Guana. Big Guana Key. Big Guana Key. And uh, this is just just north of White Point, which you can't really tell that it's a White Point because you can only see that from the south. But if you look up there at that, where those palm trees and that windbreak is up there, it's there's way more sand and it looks white on the other side. We can see it from four miles or so off as we were coming in. Anyway, it creates this beach here. It's really similar to the beach at Big Farmers, except that Big Farmers is a bigger island. It goes way on back up there. But as far as the size of the beach and the bay, I think this bay is actually bigger. So anyway, we pulled in here for lunch. And this water is just incredible. You see this big catamaran out here? He just pulled in. You see where the water color changes? And it goes from maybe four and a half or five feet to deeper. I walked out here earlier and it got up to about chest high. I didn't go all the way out to where the color changes because it's an amazingly long distance. It's like the biggest swimming pool you've ever seen. Down on the bottom here, there's a little bit of grass that you can see, but most of it's just pure white sand. Take a shoe shot and get on my, what are these things called? Keens. My Keens, my blue Keens. Oh, no, we're underwater. You can't hear me. I kept talking while you were underwater and I know you couldn't hear me. I'm talking to you, Mr. Camera. There's Kevin. He's getting his boat ready. We're over there in the yellow boat, Lucayan. We happened to come into this bay first today. A real strong wind out of the south. It was a we were running wing and wing, <coughs> and uh, we had some at least two foot swells coming from behind us. So we had a pretty nice following sea, but you really kind of had to pay attention. I know we'd surf down them. Now this guy still got his sail up. Can't figure out what he's doing. He's pointed right into the wind, though. Maybe. Kind of heave to using his sail as a, a wind vane to keep you pointed away from it. <coughs> All right, I don't know how far out I am. There's Carrie, she's still back there. Overdraft, that's Dallas's boat. We just had lunch where that tarp is. Got four boats, these are sea pearls, 21 foot sea pearls, double masted, unstayed forward mass is slightly larger than the mizzen so that's the main let's see the red boat over there is feather and then there's Carib, the blue boat we're in Lucayan, the yellow boat and the green boat I think is Ara Rock or Ara Rot anyway three of them are named after original native tribes to this area Big Guana Key we came from Farmer's Key south of here and we sailed by Little Farmer's Key uh, and then we came north this is probably five miles four miles from Little Farmers and um, kind of felt like we were getting beat out there so we decided to take a break and eat lunch I'm still walking just keep walking 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 in this insanely beautiful water really clear day it's been very windy this week kind of thought the wind was going to lighten up a little bit today it's about five to eight miles an hour or less would be perfect it's, it's a little choppy when you get out here in the ocean so anyway we're going to go on this way i'm pointing where we're, we're headed next go up here i guess this this big guana key is like 10 miles long and we're maybe halfway through it so we still got to go north and North and east is the direction I'm pointing right now. And um, go up to a place called Black Point, go around that, and then we'll go to another island. The next one on up in the chain is Bitter Guana Key, and there's probably, probably see some iguanas up there. Um, do a little selfie here. I'm still just cruising around in the water here. <laughs> And you can see that it's only like up to, not even up to my chest. 
and I don't know how far out am I. I'll take a little shot from behind there. I'm a long way out. This catamaran sailed in here while we were eating lunch. He's just sitting there. Probably wondering what we're doing. We sailed from Great Exuma, which is now about probably 30 miles south of us. It's a pretty day. What is this? February something. Say it's February 24th, maybe. Maybe the 24th. <laughs> I don't know what the date is. How crazy is that? All right, I'll let you go underwater for a little while on the way back. So you won't have to listen to me anymore for a while. swim on in here and I don't have a way to attach this thing to my head so I'm going to shut it off. 